All of the Bob's actions and words were intended to prepare mankind for the advent of He whom God shall make manifest. He explained that there is only one religion, and that it has been revealed to us throughout human history by means of progressive revelation articulated by special persons or manifestations of God. He explains that He is the resurrection of the manifestation that preceded Him and the gateway to the next. These are some of the Bob's teachings in his own words. The revelation of God may be likened to the sun. No matter how innumerable its risings, there is but one sun, and upon it depends the life of all things. The process of the rise and setting of the Son of Truth will thus indefinitely continue, a process that hath had no beginning and will have no end. The Bayan 4.12 Know thou of a certainty that every letter revealed in the Bayan, the Bob's revelation, is solely intended to evoke submission unto him whom God shall make manifest. For it is he who hath revealed the Bayan prior to his own manifestation. The Bayan 5.8 For those who believe in a physical resurrection, whether it be the followers of Islam or Christianity, the Bab explains that true resurrection is the rejuvenation of the spirit and teachings of past revelations brought again to life in the spirit and teachings of the present manifestation. For example, he says, from the inception of the mission of Jesus until the day of his ascension was the resurrection of Moses. And from the inception of the revelation of the Apostle of God, Muhammad, until the day of his ascension, was the resurrection of Jesus. The stage of perfection of everything is reached when its resurrection occurreth. The Bayan 2.7 Expressing the universality of his mission, the Bab calls out to the world, O ye peoples of the earth, Hearken unto my call. Enter ye, one and all, through this gate. Become as true brethren in the one and indivisible religion of God, free from distinction. For verily God desireth that your hearts should become mirrors unto your brethren in the faith, so that ye find yourselves reflected in them, and they in you. This is the true path of God the Almighty, and he is indeed watchful over your actions. The Chayumul Asma, Chapter 46